All right, Shalom Ram. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahar Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out here toiling in this truth. I'm Bathaka Moth, Jim S. Dallas, and I'm just coming back at you with a really quick hit lesson, man. This one is going into Christians, man. You know what I'm saying? Can't get around these people, man. You know, they're bugged out, they're through. They don't have it. You know, the spirit of the Lord is not with them. And I've lately here of late, as of late, I've been dealing with this Christian, you know, who thinks that uh, he has the truth, knows the Bible, and that we're wrong. So he's been coming at me here lately with this and that. You know, I'm saying I don't understand anything. I don't understand the Gentiles. He thinks there is no lineage. Lineage is no longer because what he says is if if you accept Jesus <laughs> in your heart, you know, that you're reborn and then you're going to be saved. R you know, roughly is what what you know, which is basically what Christians think, man. You know what I'm saying? Accept Jesus and, and, and that's it. All you got to do is accept Jesus. Stop, man. You know. That's not what's going on here. This Bible says what it says. So I'm just going to real quick. I'm just going to deal with that, <laughs> deal with that real quick, man, because you can cut that really easy. I could go straight to Matthew 15 and 24, which I'm going to get and end the discussion. You know, case closed. It's over. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go a little bit further. I'm going to go a little deeper into it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to go too far. I'm just going to get a, a few scriptures and, and just to prove this dude wrong, man. You know what I'm saying? So I just decided to do a lesson about it, you know, to edify, uh, you know, the, the sheep. And, you know, while I'm dealing with this dude, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm going to start here at Romans 9 because uh, just believing in, in, in sweet Jesus is not going to get you saved. First of all, Jesus is a farce and a lie, man. You know what I'm saying? He's not even a real person, man. You know, that's why there's a book of, the, uh, of Revelations, man. You know, Revelation, the first chapter, the revelation the, or revealing of the one they call ignorantly referred to as Jesus Christ, man. Why did he have to be? Re why is there a, a revelation? A revealing because he's been covered up, man. And the scriptures say that when the when the wicked are in authority, a, a, a man is covered up. Roughly paraphrasing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and that man that got covered up is is Yahweh Shai, man. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures tell you in, in Second Maccabees the third chapter and verse forty eight that the the heathen uh, uh, went into the book of the law, which is the Bible, and sought to paint the likenesses of their images. You know what I'm saying? So their their images have been placed in the earth. Why, if you Google anything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, Joseph, Mary, you know, any of the, you know, Peter, Paul, uh, uh, any of the prophets, Isaiah, Jeremiah, uh, even or Yahweh Shai, whom they ignorantly refer to as Jesus Christ, or, or even the, the Most High God himself, man. You're going to see a so-called white white man with a long white beard, bald head, which is off. You know, scriptures tell you in, in uh, uh, Daniel, the seventh chapter, that he had a, 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 a head full of woolly hair, man. You know what I'm saying? So where did that image with the long white beard and the bald head come from? What is that about? The scriptures see everything is contrary to what's actually in the Bible. These people are not dealing with the Bible, man. The Bible describes the Most High himself and said he had a head full of woolly hair. <clears throat> and that's why uh, Yahweh Shai said, made the statement. Uh, don't know exactly where it is, but I could find it. But for the sake of time, you know, he said, if you've seen me, you've seen the father, man. And he had woolly hair. Describes him as as a as, uh, uh, woolly hair, man. You know, white as snow. Because the, the, the father has woolly hair, a head full of woolly hair. It tells you that in Daniel, the seventh chapter, man. You know what I'm saying? Hair like wool. So, uh, you know, which who, what peop, nation of people on the earth has woolly hair? Come on, bro. It don't line up with the picture. You know, that stringy hair don't line up with the picture. <laughs> so, you know, just a lot of lies and deception. That's why the scripture saying in, in uh, uh, in Revelation, the 12th chapter, the devil and Satan that deceived the whole world, man, you know, and that's talking about these Edomites, man, the devil and Satan. Devil means a, a, a deceiver, a, a, an accuser of thy brethren, and, and, and Satan means adversary. You know what I'm saying? And these people are the accuser of their brethren and they're, and they're uh, uh, liars. You know what I'm saying? And they're the adversaries of these people, which are the Israelites, man, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans and Seminole Indians of Negro descent. And, if, and, and, and being adversary to these people, they're adversary to the Lord, man. You know, they're totally contrary to his ways, man. I just showed you. I, well, I didn't get the scriptures, but I, but I quoted them, you know. You know, the, the Bible describes, and, 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 and when you pull up an image, it don't line up with the image, man. You know what I'm saying? Simply put, that's, that's, that's a farce and a lie. That's a deception. You know, Isaiah 60 and 2, you know. This, this earth is in darkness and these people in gross darkness. That's what's going on, man. And that's why it says in Isaiah 25 and verse 7, 
uh, uh, that the covering cast over all the people and that veil is being lifted, man, and destroyed, man. I shall destroy in this kingdom the covering cast and the veil over all the people, man, which is those lies and deceptions, man, you know. So they're being destroyed, man. We're tearing down the strongholds, you know, pursuant to uh, the, the book of Corinthians, first or second, I don't remember which one, uh, uh, chapter 10. You know, in verse four, we're, we're, we're tearing down those strongholds. Christianity is a stronghold on these people, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and hey, we're destroying the lies, man. We're destroying the, the, the deceptions. We're destroying this darkness, man, with this light, man. You know, the light has come into the world, but men love darkness, man. John, the third, cha uh, uh, the, uh, John, uh, the third chapter, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to get into this real quick because he said there is no lineage. You know, the, that, that, you, that doesn't matter anymore. All you got to do is believe in Jesus. Be, that's the rebirth and you'll be saved. Okay, well, we're going to see what the Bible says. Let's see what the Bible says. This, I'm, I'm going to start it right here in, book, in the book of Romans <clears throat> because, and, and I'm just going to read this. Romans 9, and I'm going to start at verse 3. And it reads, for I, I could wish my, myself were accursed from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. If that's not a line or a lineage, what is that? It's talking about a, a, a people, man. He said, for I could wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, your kinsmen, your kin people, according to the flesh. So it's not a spiritual thing. It's a fleshly thing, which proves lineage, man. You know, he's talking about his, bro his actual blood brother, man. You know, they're related. By blood, by flesh, you know, not I'm a spiritual Israelite. We're, we're related through the spirit. No, man. He said for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, blood relatives, man, a lineage, a line of people and a lineage, a line leads to a nation of people. That's how you get a nation It's through lineage, you know. So um, and that's why Apostle Paul always headed his 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 uh, uh epistles with brethren you know what i'm saying because he's talking to those same people man you know so verse four it says who are israelites boom a nation of people in the earth that's a lineage the israelites man who go back to their forefather jacob slash israel you know what i'm saying who's go back who goes back to isaac who goes back to abraham and that's the chosen line that's the lineage abraham isaac jacob slash israel whose name was changed to israel when he wrestled the angel and won man you know what I'm saying? His name was changed to Israel. He had sons. They became the sons of or children of Israel, man. That's a lineage, man. You know what I'm saying? So these, these, these Christians, this, this dude don't know what he's talking about. These Christians are through. They don't know, they don't know the Bible and they don't know what they're talking about. So it says, who are Israelites, a lineage, a nation of people to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the most high and the promises. That's everything. They go to this particular nation of people with whom the most I chose you know as a matter of fact when you go into this word let's go into this word real quick and it's going to prove that and it's going to prove that it's talking about nations as well man <clears throat> when you go into this word uh adoption right here this is g5206 let him say it strong's g5206 we are the sea we are the sea we are the sea and it says, when you drop down to the outline of biblical usage, it says adoption, adoption as sons. But the A is what I want. It said, it reads, that relationship which God, the Most High Yahweh, was pleased to establish between himself and the Israelites in preference to all other nations, proving that the Israelites is a nation. So if he if he chose the Israelites in preference to all other nations, OK, they're nations, but the Israelites aren't a nation. No, man, the Israelites are a nation as well. They're a nation of people, a lineage lineage leads to a nation. <laughs> These people are through, man. So and it's going into the adoption, man. So it's that relationship which the Most High Yahweh was pleased to establish between himself and the Israelites. Why am I still reading about the Israelites in the New Testament. This is Romans, the ninth chapter in the New Testament. But these Christians will tell you it's about being a Christian. No, man. You know, it's about being an Israelite, man. And the Lord ain't even dealing with all Israelites in these times. Two thirds is going to be cut off and die pursuing the, uh, 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 to Zechariah 13 and 8, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it, it, you have to be a part of the elect of the nation of Israel. That one part, that one third. You know what I'm saying? So, but, hey, 
in all, all in all, it's Israelites, man. So the Lord is still dealing with Israel. You can, I can show you Israelites all in the New Testament. Yet Christians will tell you it's not a, it's not a lineage. It's not about being an Israelite. You know, it's, it's not about a lineage. It's just about accepting Jesus, believing in Jesus, accepting Jesus in your heart. And, and, and that's the rebirth and you'll be saved. BS, man. And we're proving it wrong, man. And we're tearing down these strongholds. So the Lord chose the Israelites in preference to all other nations, proving their nation, proving this is a lineage. It's talking about a lineage. You know what I'm saying? And this is the, this is the adoption back because we, of course, the, the Lord got rid of us. You know, he divorced his, his people, got rid of us, but he's accepting us back, man. You know, what's that? Hosea, the first chapter, I believe. And the second chapter goes into it as well. But uh, as a matter of fact, let's let's keep going. So uh, that's the point on that, man. So, yeah, that. uh in verse three, you know, for I could wish Romans nine and three, for I could wish myself that myself were cursed from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites. You know what I'm saying? That's a nation of people that the Lord chose and preface to all other nations. That's a lineage. That's why he said, my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, blood, line. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Stop, bro. So. Let's go here now. This is Revelation, the seventh chapter, because there's nowhere that I'm I, I, you're not going to find where you can just believe in Jesus, and, you know, accept him in your heart. And, and, and you know, what I'm saying and that's the rebirth and, and you'll be saved. No, man, the, the salvation is, is from is the from the, the hand of our enemies and from this coming destruction, man. And that's what uh, uh, we're about to go into here, man. It's Revelation seven and one. I'm going to start at the top at verse one point is in, in really in verse four. It says. And after these, Revelation 7 and 1, and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth. And those four winds rep re represent the, the, the coming destruction, man. You know, it's coming from all four angles of the earth, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the coming destruction. So the angels are holding that back right now. It says that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on the, any tree. Verse 2, and I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. The seal of the living power now. Keep that in mind. And, the, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, verse 3, hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. So that's that, that's that seal of the living power, man, you know. He said, don't hurt the earth. Don't let them winds go. Don't destroy anything. Don't let that destruction go until we've sealed, put that seal in the minds, the hearts, the lobs, which is heart in Hebrew of the servants of the most high, man, which are the ones who have this knowledge, man, the, 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 that seal at those who have, who now have this, this truth, this knowledge in their brains, in their minds, in their spirit. That's where your spirit is. You know what I'm saying? And that's why you're illuminated, you know? That, that third eye is awakened, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and of all these dark-minded people, the angels, when they return, they're going to be, they're going to know the elect because the elect, the elect's minds, their spirits, their lives, their hearts are going to be glowing, man. You know, a, a, a luminance, a, an, an illumined essence about their brains, man, because it's filled with light, you know, which is what the, the, the knowledge represents, man. It's, the, it's a light, man. You know, as a matter of fact, the scriptures say that also in Isaiah 60 and verse 1. Arise, shine, for thy light has come, man. The light, which is ultimately represents Yahweh, you know what I'm saying? The Messiah. But it also represents this knowledge because the Messiah is the word, John 1 and 1. And, and when you read down, jump down to verse 14, it, it says that the, the word became flesh and walked among us, man. Yahweh, man. So he, it represents Yahweh ultimately, but it represents this knowledge, man. He said, you know, that when he left us, he was going to he wasn't going to leave us comfortless. He was going to leave. He was going to send us the comfort, the comforter, which is the knowledge, man, which is him. You know, <laughs> you know, so we have Yahweh Shai and, and the spirit walking among us now through this word, man. He's with us. He's we're learning, you know, just like he taught the disciples, uh, 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 you know, physically taught them. He walked with them and taught them. Well, he's walking with us, man, by way of this knowledge, man. He's walking with us. And he's teaching us through the spirit, you know, so it's that he sent us the comforter. You know, so it ultimately, ultimately represents your house, right? But it represents this knowledge, man. That's what the light is. We have the light in these times because we have the truth, this knowledge, the true knowledge of the of the scriptures. So it says, uh, 
Verse 3 again, Revelation 7 and 3, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servant of our power in their foreheads with this gospel, with this knowledge, this truth, man, the truth of the Bible. Now check this right here. Here's the point. And it, the heading says the 144,000, 144,000. And here's the point. And I heard, and it's going to prove it's talking about lineage, it's talking about those same people, man. Come on, man. The Israelites. Revelations is, I ain't seen not one time yet uh, uh, Christians but they want to be Christians and not Israelites. That shows you how demonic and wicked the Christianity is, man. Revelation 7 and 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, that sealing, you know, the knowledge. And there were sealed and hundred and forty and four thousands, thousand, Salakia, of all the tribes of the children of Israel. The children of Israel, man. You know, there it is right there. You're going to tell me it's not talking about a lineage, which we, we just read in Romans, the ninth chapter, the, the you know, Paul, Apostle Paul broke it down. You know, my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, that's an, a lineage. Then we went into the word adoption, <laughs> you know, that nation, you know, whom the Lord uh, uh, chose and preferred above all other nations, you know, which uh, to get to a nation begins with a lineage, man, you know. A line of people, you know, and then, and of course, with the Israelites, that line begins with Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob slash Israel, the 12 sons, patriarchs, the Israelites, the sons or children of Israel and all of their descendants all the way up to today, man. You know what I'm saying? And 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 to further go into that, it go it breaks it all down, man. The children of Israel, you know, that's who salvation is coming to uh, coming to those are the ones that's being sealed. They're going to be a uh, uh, sealed. Uh, from the, the, the hurt and the harm of those four winds, man, that are coming, man, that the angels are holding back right now. It didn't say Christians. It says Israel, the children of Israel, all the tribes of the uh, 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 children of Israel, man, right there in verse four. And when you jump down to first, verse five, going on down to first, verse eight, it's going through all of the tribes, man. I read a little bit. Verse five of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Asher were sealed 12,000 of the tribe of ne Nephthali were sealed 12,000 or ne Nephthalim, but it's Nephthali uh, of the tribe of Man Manassas or Manasseh were sealed 12,000. You know what I'm saying? And it's going on, you know, the tribe of Simeon and, and, and Levi and, and Issachar and, you know, which are the so-called Mexicans, you know, uh, Levi, the Haitians, you know, so it's going through, you know, all of the uh, uh, the tribes, man, all 12 sons, man, had sons, all the descendants of those men on into today, man, 12,000 of each of those tribes are, are being sealed in these times, man. And they've been given this knowledge, this light. And now they're the teachers and they're teaching this, this thing, man. Lord willing, I can be one of them. You know what I'm saying? Of the tribe of Gad, man. Lord willing, I can be one of those 12,000 men. You know what I'm saying? And then when you get uh, to verse... Uh, Nine, it says right there in the heading, a multitude from the tribulation, you know, it says, verse nine, after this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number of all nations, because we're going to save, be saved out of all nations. As a matter of fact, when you jump over to verse five, let's get that real quick and we'll come back. Revelations, uh, so like it, chapter five, uh, chapter five, and we're going to jump down to verse nine. This is Revelations five and nine, and it reads, and they sung a new song saying, thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof for thou, <clears throat> for thou was slain and hast redeemed us who the Israelites, man, to the most high by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, man. So that's the, that's why it says that Israel has been scattered among all the nations. The Lord said he's going to scatter us when you read in the curses in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter and verse 64. He said he's going to scatter us among all nations and people from the one corner of the earth to the other, among all, you know, from all four corners of the earth, man. So if we've been scattered among all these nations, among every kindred, tongue, people, and nation, wouldn't he gather us from all of those? Exactly. So let's jump back over to verse 7. So, and back down, uh, jump that back down to verse nine, you know, that great multitude. After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, which are Israelites scattered among these nations, people's uh, uh, tongues and kindreds stood before the throne and before the lamb clothed 
with white robes and palms in their hands. So, but the point was, he said, uh, he was going to, uh, uh, take us out of those nations. <clears throat> uh, You know, in, in uh, chapter five. So uh, he was going to take us out of those uh, nations. But uh, this is, yeah, that's that's who that's dealing with, man. That great multitude is dealing with Israel, Israelites as well, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's all talking about Israelites. It ain't going to go up here and, and just get all 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 the uh, the uh, the hundred and forty four thousand from all, you know, which, of course, verse four broke it down. You know, who are uh, uh, the uh, Salakia? And I heard that verse four. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed and hundred and forty and four thousand. I'm a little, little excited, <laughs> getting ahead of myself. Got to calm down over here. Hey, this truth is exciting. You know, bear with me. It says, and I heard verse four, and I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed and hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. He ain't gonna deal with all the tribes of the children of Israel with with the hundred and forty four thousand, and then jump down here and deal with all nations. Come on, man, stop, bro. No, man. You know, it's all dealing with Israelites, man. You know what I'm saying? So, and these, the, the great multitude are the men, women, and children who believe the report of, of, of the 144,000, which are the teachers, you know, those that were sealed with this knowledge, man. You know, they have the knowledge, the light, and they're uh, uh, putting this light into the earth and all this darkness, this world of darkness. And the, the great multitude, which is that the one third are, are the men, women, and children that believe the report, man. You know what I'm saying? Of course, those those uh, women and children that's going to be attached uh, to those men. You know what I'm saying? So that's the great multitude. But that proves, again, it's a nation, man. It's a line of people. And, and it, it takes more. It's not dealing with with uh, believing and, 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 you know, taking sweet Jesus into your hearts, which is your mind, and, and you're going to be saved. Come on, man. So let's get one more, man. I'm going to go to the Messiah now. We're just going to just bring this thing to a, you know, let's, 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 drop, let's, let's bang the gavel on this thing. Let's drop the hammer on it. This is Messiah to his own mouth, man. This is Matthew 15 and 24. It says, but he answered and said, red letters, Yahweh is about to speak. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of of Israel. Everything that I've read here all in the New Testament has been about Israel, Israelites, not Christians, man. You know what I'm saying? But Christians will tell you, you know, to be reborn, just take just, you know, you got to receive Jesus in your heart and 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 everything is okay. You're reborn. You're going to be saved. Wrong, man. First of all, you got to be an Israelite to have a chance. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, two parts ain't going to even make it pursuing pursuing the Zechariah 13 and 8, you know? So it's about the elect, the one third of the nation of Israel. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not sent red letters, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, the house of Israel, the house of Israel. That's a nation. The house represents nation, the nation of Israel. You can't get a have a nation without a lineage, man. You know, wake up, Christians. Shalom.